Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I'm Lyle, and later on tonight, I'm gonna to be making some keto-friendly salmon cakes, and I wanted to make a tartar sauce to go with that that was also keto-friendly. As tartar sauce goes, I've made tartar sauce regular on my channel before. I have a recipe for that. If you're looking for something along those lines, I'm gonna leave a link to that recipe in the iCard above and description below. As far as this recipe goes, I was looking for some inspiration for a keto friendly tartar sauce and I couldn't find one specific recipe that I liked. So this is kind of a meld of about three different recipes that I saw online. So this is kind of my creation here. As far as the crab cake, or not crab cakes, as far as the salmon cakes that we're gonna be making uh, tonight, I will also leave a link to that video in the iCard above and description below. Now this is gonna be very simple to throw together. Come on in, let's take a look at the ingredients start knocking it out. These are the ingredients we're gonna to need to make this tartar sauce. I'm starting off with some mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, some capers that have been chopped, some swerve uh, sugar substitute. I actually like Splenda a whole lot better than that, so uh, that's what I would typically use, but I had this on hand. We have some paprika, dill, lemon juice, some uh, pickle relish, and some uh, chopped shallots. You could just go with pickles that are diced up, which is probably what I would have done, but I just had a, just enough of this for this recipe, so that's what we used. As far as making it, obviously it's going to be very simple. All we need to do is add our ingredients in. So we have our mayonnaise, our mustard, our capers. Now this substitute here this is one of those sugar substitutes that actually i think needs to sit in whatever you're making because it seems a little grainy if it doesn't have a chance to absorb into whatever you're using i'm using a lot of fresh dill love that in tartar sauce the lemon juice our pickle relish and most of the recipes I saw, they were using uh, just regular onions. I'm using shallots in place of that. Shallots actually have a little less carbs than regular onions. So really that's it. All we need to do is stir it together. And I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for about three hours. Let all these flavors come together. Thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. This taste test is a foregone conclusion. It's already tasted this when I filmed the ending of my salmon patty video. So one thing I do want to do is kind of talk about the things I really like about this tartar sauce. You know, not necessarily as a whole. I mean, as great as a whole, but the thing I really like about this is the capers. Next time I make this, I'm gonna add even more capers. I might double up on those capers because that adds a really nice flavor to it. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get in for the official taste test. Absolutely wonderful. Listen, if you're trying to limit your carbs a little bit, this right here is a winner. Try this out. I'd like to thank you for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I do appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.